Hi, card makers. Um, the other day I posted this card with some new memory box dies. These dies right here. And I made it flat. But I wanted to make it into a tunnel card. So I set about thinking and thinking and thinking and came up with an idea of how to make this into a tunnel card that would also go flat. So here's what I did. I die cut these dies in these cardstocks, the new glitter cardstock from Memory Box. And I used regular white cardstock for the frame. And you're going to want a piece of cardstock six and a half inches long, five and a half inches tall, and then you will score it at an eighth of an inch, then go over a quarter, another quarter, another quarter, and another quarter. So you end up at one and an eighth. So actually what I did, I scored it at one and an eighth to begin with, and one and an eighth on this side also. Then I went back and did the eighth and the three quarters marks. So then you end up with these lines, and no, I did not fold on those lines, but they gave me a guideline to where to tape these little, oh, what should I call them, um, legs? <laughs> I don't know what to call them. But they are going to hold my interior pieces. So I'm going to fold this here, and then I will fold this on the eighth inch one also and that's a little tighter because it's skinny but it needs to be skinny you could make it wider but on my top piece i don't have very much room over here so i just cut it down from a quarter to an eighth inch and i liked that better you can still see a tad bit of it right there but really not much if that didn't bother me. So here you have your base, basically. But then you need a place to... This is going to go in here. Like that. And then you need a place to put each of these additions to your scene. So, each one of these will go on one of these supports. And then your top one will go on this little eight inch piece over here. So it's really not hard at all. So I cut this piece by these measurements. Then I cut six half inch pieces by five and a half inches. So this is half inch by five and a half inch, and you need six of those. Well, if you make it like this, if you only use two of these, then you would just need four. <clears throat> so you kind of go according to how many you're using. So then I have put quarter inch score tape on each of these supports. And I did these ahead of time because I figured it would take too long on a video. And I hope I don't run out of tape here. Ah, I'm going to. So this quarter inch goes on here like that. I'm just gonna run it on here. Normally I would get this real close to my face to do it, but uh, since it's not gonna work anyway, we won't sweat that too much right this minute. But that is what your supports are going to look like on each side. 
Then you're going to bring this in here and remove one of your adhesives and you're going to put that on. And this is where these lines come in handy. You're gonna use those for guidelines to where to put your supports. And then this one isn't going to work too good. Let's get that back off there. I knew I was about to run out of that. I've got it in my cart to get some more. And this one's going to go right next to that. And then they are ready to add your scene pieces. I'm going to stick this background in here. I don't know. I my first one I just made with plain white. Ah, oh, that's really sticky. I guess I can't talk and glue at the same time, guys. Oh dear, what a mess. Okay, let's try that again. Sorry about that. Here I am trying to be speedy and I'm not speedy at all. So it looks like I, this won't show over here, so I'm just going to whack it off a little bit since I didn't get it quite over far enough, but hey, this is how we stamp, right? <laughs> just trim it till you get it and hopefully everything gets covered up. There we go. Keep that big honk and scissors handy, guys. All right, so here we are with that. Now we'll go on to this next one. And I'm just gonna do one side at a time. And stick these on. Start with your back one. And Oh man, normally I would hold this up so close to my face to see what I'm doing, but can't do that when you're videoing. Okay, so then take off that one, and now I'm going to keep that down and fold this over. And there I have the first guy down. So you kind of get what I'm doing. Oh man, I ripped off the top of the tree. Way to go. Okay, well, I don't know how I'll fix that, but you do have to watch out for these trees. They kind of need support too. But... Oh well, if this isn't good enough to send anybody, that's all right. I can use it here at my house on my fireplace mantle. Stick that one on, and then I'm gonna bring that over and stick it on the second one. If I can get the release paper off. I know y'all love watching that. Not. All right. That one's on. So there we go. Now the next one. I 
You'll have to let me know if you make one of these and show, send me pictures. <clears throat> You could put the support on the back of this too. I haven't tried that yet. It might be easier. Okay, then here's this one that I don't have tape on yet. Um, how am I gonna do that? It doesn't even look like I got it in the right place. But maybe I can just get ATG on it. I'm just really risking it all here, aren't I? <laughs> Maybe this should be a comedy show. <laughs> yeah, I did all right. Sheesh. First time card maker here. <laughs> One nice thing about the ATG, it does rub off. We always called it booger tape. Alrighty, that's so pretty. And now my top piece. I hope this isn't going too long. Ooh, 11 minutes already. I'm hurrying. Let's see. Let's stick this on if you have. Line it up the best you can. Okay, got that one. And now I'll get this tape off. Oh, I'm get him. This is folded over under there. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Hit the phone with my head. <coughs> There's that one. And there's the tunnel card. I did make this up with a birch press die. I thought that would be pretty on there. But we all know how to stick that on. But there you go. I like it. You can kind of push it back and forth till you get it. Right. Oh, I might make sure you get that background trimmed smaller than you need it, I guess, because I goofed up there. But oh well. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this gives you some ideas how to use this die. These dies, I mean. Bye.